in my estimation, dollar for dollar, pound for pound, you cannot buy a better screen plant. I believe that, totally. Doug McNaughton, he started the company in 1989. He built his first screener that year, but they improved for many years after that, until 15 years ago or so. They basically are perfected, and they've stayed that way. It's fast, it has almost no maintenance, and it does what it's supposed to do, and it'll do it for years, from topsoil to three-quarter minus gravel, to pea gravel, to septic sand. We can make all of those products using a screen titan. The titan is an incline screen. The deck of the screen is on a 29 degree angle. Most of the competition to the screen titan is what's commonly called box screener. With the box screener, some of the product that you desire is gonna come off the front because it hasn't been on the screen deck long enough to be screened out. So in that case, you have two choices. You can either forget about it or you can rescreen, and either way, it costs you money. With the Screen Titan, everything you want in that product is going to be screened out before it gets to the bottom. I think the Screen Titan outperforms most other pieces of equipment in that class by its reliability, efficiency, and the amount of product you can process per hour. I don't think there's anything else out there that'll touch it, and I've seen a lot of them. There's the Mini and the Ultra. Both machines have one deck with two screens, produce three products. Subdivision builders will buy a Screen Titan, scoop the product off the property before they start, and when they're finished, they use the Screen Titan to process the material they've taken off, make their own topsoil, and do their own landscaping. It saves them money coming and going. A Mini can do up to 50 ton an hour, and an Ultra up to 100, and I've known situations where both exceeded that. The Ultra, it has a 20 horsepower Honda GX630 engine, the Mini has a 13 horsepower Honda engine. An Ultra will operate for approximately eight hours on a tank of fuel, and the Mini four to five hours. A Screen Titan is probably better in dealing with high moisture content in the material than almost any other machine out there. For screen mesh sizes, you can get basically anything you want. When it comes to changing out the screens, two guys can do it in about 30 minutes. Not a big problem at all. The machines are totally reliable. They perform flawlessly for years. I've got them out there that are 30 odd years old, still working. And Doug, the owner of the company, is a perfectionist and very hands-on when it comes to quality control. The only maintenance required on them is one shot and one shot only of grease on each of two bearings once every 200 hours. If you happen to blow a belt, you can pick one up easily at any store that sells parts for lawnmowers. I've been around this business a long time and uh, seen a lot of screen plants. And in my experience, pound for pound, dollar for dollar, you cannot beat a screen titan. You just can't.